this is Moses, and this will be a short tutorial on how to set up a Halo custom edition editing environment from start to finish. I'm going to be, uh, I'm not going to be running the installers for these two, simply because you can get what you need out of them without having to do that. And I will be running the installer for the Mech Essentials. Um, first, right off the bat, create a folder to put everything in your editing environment. Um, let's just call this... Alright, so you can use 7-zip to open uh, both of these installers, and all we're going to need from them is the maps folder from the Halo Custom Edition installer. Um, actually, we'll need all of it. Because some things are required by um, Sapien. Alright. We don't need everything from the Halo editing kit, just a few things. Um, need Sapien, Gorilla, need all of those more or less. <clears throat> and while we don't need all of the tags that are in there, we need at least the editor tags. They contain markers for uh, the markers that are drawn in Sapien. These right here. So now we have an environment set up right here. Now we're going to run the Mech Essentials installer. Now that we've got this installed, uh, we can use Refinery to extract tags from the maps. Let's see... So... Go to Halo Test... Maps, and then let's extract... Hmm... Let's extract Blood Gulch. And it's loading right now. You can see in the console right here. So now we want to extract everything from the map. Um, you could hit Add Map and add it to the queue uh, by targeting the uh, directory, like this. Or, with an empty queue, you could just hit Run Extraction, and it'll automatically do that. If you, don't, if you don't want it to create a list of the tags that were extracted, just erase this field. So, add to queue, and now it's extracting everything. Took half a minute. So, now we have a working directory where we can launch Sapien and actually load Blood Gulch. I'm going to close Refinery because we don't need to open anymore. And go ahead and tell it to open Blood Gulch. So 
So let's see. What can we do? Um. Let's add some random units, just for the heck of it, just to make the level look different. Multiplayer cyborg looks fine, so let's just place one of them at each of the bases. And then save the scenario as... So now, to actually compile that map, we could use tool, um, but I'd rather use this wrapper that I wrote. It, let's see, alright, it allows you to easily uh, use tool without actually having to open a command line. Uh, we will add a tool directory. So go to the Halo test and select tool. So now we can build cache file, which will be the map that we'll be making. Right click the parentheses and then select the scenario we just saved. And do that so the tool window stays open. And process. And perfect. We just built our map. We can find it here. Test.map. Um, We can copy that map over to where I've actually got Halo installed, and then paste it in here. And then run Halo. And we'll load the test map we just made and there should be one biped on each base. Hello. That concludes this tutorial.